Why do you call your company the ripple effect? That's a great question. I call my company The Ripple Effect because it's named after my book, The Ripple Effect, Maximizing the Power of Relationships for Life and Business. I started the company in 2004 as a consulting business to actually help uh, organizations understand and appreciate the power of building relationships the right way. So I focus on helping individuals and companies sort of identify, develop, and grow the key relationships that they depend on for their success. So it just works. <laughs> And is there a ripple effect in building relationships? I believe there is. Um, obviously, I think um, the ripple effect comes in a number of ways. I think it's about creating action, positive, big, small, uh, doesn't matter, but taking action on behalf of other people um, and seeing where that goes. And sort of my philosophy has always been that if you engage and connect with enough people, you sort of build this amazing network. And people are more drawn to you when you're willing to help and engage them without really any expectation of return. Without expectation of return, is that really possible? I believe it is. Um, I grew two successful companies prior to even knowing what the ripple really was for me. Um, I became an entrepreneur sort of out of the focus of being a resource to the individuals that I came in contact with and found that would, that was my true passion and true, my true uh, path to success in that I would keep my eyes and ears open and listen for opportunities to help other folks um, get what they wanted, whether that was a door open for them or um, I found that I would, had an innate ability to help people sort of connect with their the job or career that they might like to you know one day have. And I created this great association with folks that I knew at some point those doors would uh, be an opportunity to you know open for others. And through that, I was able to grow my two companies and be successful in that regard. And then what I realized when I sold my company in 2004 was that a lot of people don't really get or understand or appreciate this power. Um, you know, I looked at it as being a resource, but then I looked at this chain of events and it was very much like dropping that stone in the pond and seeing where those ripples go. A lot of times you may know and expect where they'll go, but sometimes you don't know. And so opening a door for someone today that might just want to get an entry job at a company that you happen to have a contact with, um, that can go, you know, one direction. But, you know, two, three, four years, and it's happened, um, is that those people end up advancing through that company and come back and be in a position to help you down the road. And so my focus is, hey, you ripple for people today, you never know what'll come back to you down the road. But uh, it's a little bit different philosophy than what most people are usually comfortable with, uh, but it works. This is an interesting philosophy for, let's say, an organization that might be in trouble right now. Some people are saying they have to work twice as hard to get the same result in this current economy. Absolutely. So how could the ripple effect help a small, fledgling organization survive this uh, economic downturn? That's an outstanding question, um, especially in the economic situation that we're in today. I think a lot of organizations need to put an emphasis on two focuses. One, the internal customer, which is the folks that they depend on to you know, produce their products or services, and the external customer, which is obviously the clients, the vendors, the organizations that make what they do possible. And building those key relationships is very critical in taking the time and in taking those necessary steps to engage those people to really build a relationship that's congruent uh, it becomes an important factor in helping people get through sort of a real difficult economic time. I believe that if individuals and organizations were focused on this several years ago, a lot of organizations wouldn't be struggling. Can you give me an example of why a good relationship makes a difference in business? Absolutely. Um, as we were talking about with today's economic situation, organizations, I think, need to focus on building those relationships the right way so they keep their core talent, um, even in a situation where, you know, time is, is, str is a struggle. And, you know, layoffs are a reality for a lot of companies. But if you have a strong, you know, relationship built with your internal team, they know that as a leader, you're going to bring them through this. Even from a perspective of clients, it's also important, you know, clients want to do business with organizations that they trust that they have established relationships with and that they can build, uh, you know, sort of that long-term, you know, engagement, you know, and that's a critical component. And I think as you see, organizations that start to focus in that capacity um, end up having better relationships, even in a difficult economic time, because they will get paid on time. There will be 
calls that are returned, they're more willing to spend with you even uh, in, a, in a time where they might not spend with another vendor. So who is your ideal client? My ideal client, you know, I like to say, I'll, I have Ripple, will travel. I will talk to anyone. Um, you know, my business is a little unique in that I, um, my main focus is I speak for corporations. I'll come in and, um, you know, engage with their leadership team or address an entire company about the core concepts of the Ripple. I love doing that. It's my, uh, it's a passion of mine. I also like speaking at conferences. Um, that's a big factor because it's, it's just a melting pot of people, and uh, you never know who will be in the audience, who the message will resonate, and what organizations and doors might open because of that. But I will literally work with anybody from an individual all the way to a company that wants to understand and appreciate how to apply the concept of rippling to you know, their career, to their employee engagement, to their you know, creating better, more established relationships with their existing customers or their prospective customers. Anything you'd like to add? Um, as far as, uh, you know, if people would like to learn more about the Ripple Effect, I would encourage them to check out my website at www.ripplecentral.com. Um, I have access to my blog there. We have some additional videos, and uh, we have a podcast series, and they can download a free copy of the Ripple Effect book.